Kenny Lattimore hey, hey, hey. is in the Red Velvet <laughs> King studio. Welcome yes, back. I am. This is incredible. You've been here before. I have not been in this particular facility, though. No? This facility, yes. Mm-hmm. This facility is, is absolutely new to me. Really? <laughs> yes. And he gets a, an accent. I could have <laughs> sworn you were here. Uh, no. Doing an in studio jam. Last time we saw him at a, a, a Sky Show play. Sky, like a yeah, mini sky absolutely. Show. The Sky Show, yeah. That's the yeah. last time? That was the last time. Yeah, yeah that you was were fun in a, it was a room, some, I forgot where it was, but you were singing, and uh, that, was, that, was a, that was years ago. Yeah, yeah. That, was that was a long years time ago. ago. Yeah. I took, like a, lot, I took a lot of time and, and uh, took care of my son and just kind of, you know, chilled. Uh, and I mean, not totally chilled, but, you know, really just took the time off to make sure I was being a good dad, parent. I'm that, you know, How much time did you take off? Almost seven years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's been how old is your boy now? He's eleven. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh it is so good to be back. I I'm you just sound, like you mega sound excited. Just great, yeah. man. Thank you, thank you. I mean yeah, I have this, this, your voice. this loved for you know. <laughs> and you broke up with Sean you, you broke up with Shantae, what, three yeah. years ago? No, about four yeah, about four years. Four, about years, four ago? years, yeah. Yeah. So uh it's it's a new day and a, you know, a new not necessarily a new me, a progressive me. Yeah. And uh, you know, it feels feels good. Are you included in the uh, reality show? Uh, you were the no, first season, I've right? Never, no, I've never, no, I've never been a part of. Oh, I was referenced. Oh, you, you, you know, as a matter of fact, I heard <laughs> I was like a cast member actually, but I wasn't getting paid. Uh-huh. So uh, no, I I uh, have nothing to do. I, I really thought that whole thing was a mistake. I, I thought that it the was the reality uh, show. Yeah, it was it was reckless and it was irresponsible to me, and it hurt a lot of people. It hurt my son, and um, oh, I, yeah? I just yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that at all. Is that why you, you all broke that. up? No, oh no! I'm, I mean, that reality show came like yeah. what three years, two, three years ago. Why did you break? Yeah, up? why did y'all break us. up? Tell us. <laughs> I think that you need a hug. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think I need to go back and get that. No, but I think that you know, I think life is life is what I think that you know people get into relationships and feel like they have the things that they need, and maybe they really don't, and maybe they haven't dealt with their own issues mm. and who they are. Um, and as a did result, did you feel like you, you know, lost yourself in that relationship? Um, sometimes, um, and not because Shantae's a bad person. I think she's amazing. She's an amazing singer, all of that. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, for me, I became, as the husband, I got more into the business and the behind the scenes, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and I kind of left some of the music. I'm the type of person that's supportive where I wanted her to win no matter what. Mm-hmm. I felt like she was always like one of the most amazing singers and beautiful and all that. I didn't think she got everything that she deserved. And you pushed it. That's the truth. Yeah, and I tried. I tried to push that. And and you think uh, you pushed it too far? Mm, No, I think that she wanted something else, and she's the only one that can really answer that one. But I I think that she wanted something a little different. And what are you? So, where in terms of your uh, career and uh, both personally and professionally, Mm -hmm. um, where are you? What do you want at this point? Um, I want. I want peace. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, so no relationships. Okay. No, no, no. Right. I, no, no. In all, in all honesty, uh, I no. I'm totally open right now, and I wasn't for a number of years because mm. I know a lot of people say this, but it really is true. When you go through a divorce, it is really like a death, and um, and there's different statistics. People come up and they say, "Well, the time well, period that you've been like married, a and it is, yeah. but you still have to go through that period of transition." And some people say it takes you about half of the time you were actually together to heal before you can move on because I mean I was really dedicated to my marriage and I loved her so when you get into the whole idea of um you know I've, somebody new being in your life and 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 all of that it's it's quite a transition so I think I'm just getting to the point where I'm open because there's a certain amount of safety that a man is looking looking for ladies when mm-hmm. he's in a relationship and um you know a lot of the public stuff and the things that were happening I think made my feeling unsafe linger for a long period of time. I was hearing so many different things and I was like, wow, what? And I thought maybe it was for, for money or for, you know, um, you know, people trying to remain relevant in the media that mm. stories were being made up and all kind of other stuff. And I just was like, you know, I'm not going to give any energy to that. I'll wait. So what and, about the, um, what about yeah. the new music? Is the new music about, um, not Jante? at all, not at all. Would never, is it a reflection it. of where you are now? It is a reflection of where I am now. Anatomy of a love song is all the the things that I think make up a great love song, whether it's the highs and lows, breakups, makeups, 
Um, in addition to that, some of the sounds that I loved growing up, from the Philly sound to Donny Hathaway. I have a duet with Layla Hathaway that's reminiscent of Donny Hathaway. Which have, one is that? Uh, Nothing Like You is what it's called. Nothing Like You? Nothing Like You. And then mm. I have a song that reminds me of uh, like a Marvin Gaye and Ron Isley. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, whoa. I mean, whoa. Just how to make me smile, yeah, yeah. And he knows he's mine. Sing later. Yeah. What, which, which one is that Marvin Gaye? <laughs> that is called... The, um, You're not worried, are you? No, no, not How at about all. about going to court? No, 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 no. You know, we've been talking about that every day. Oh, my God. You stay relevant. Oh, I mean, what? This is, like, so amazing. Um, we, which I one, think that I may... Which represent. one is the Marvin Gaye? It's called You're My Girl. Okay. But I don't think this is going to remind you of any particular Marvin song, but it's got a uh, Marvin flavor to it. That's the same thing Robin Thicke and Pharrell said. <laughs> <laughs> In court. It didn't work out too well for them. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's safe. Uh, we yeah. had we had Jan Gay on yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, Marvin's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. But yeah. listen, it's it's a big deal. Like people don't know about um, publishing and all of that because this Marvin Gaye thing. This isn't the first time this has happened. No. Uh, remember when uh, Ghostbusters and Ray Parker Jr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The reference, yeah. and uh, you know, even on my song "Love Me Back," I sing a little bit of Bobby Womack's. If you think you know, a little re reworking of "If You Think You're Lonely Now." And, it, uh, and his children took you to court? Well, no, no, no. I immediately was like, um, let me get in publishing now. <laughs> you know, <And laughs> let that, me give them. And that's what and that's what Jan Gay said. Absolutely. She said she said they never even called. They never they just did the song. Yeah. Never even when, when we used to was do on remix. the phone immediately. Yeah. yeah. When we did remix back in the day, it was like, let me see what Clint Black and Lisa Hartman Black think of me and Shantae doing this duet. Mm -hmm. Or Donny Hathaway. Let me think. Ask Layla Hathaway what her family thinks about me doing her father's songs again, just as a courtesy, mm -hmm. you know, and making sure we have that relationship and that everybody's okay. But as a songwriter, don't you sometimes forget? Okay, that I heard that years ago, and then when you write a song, it, it that flows into what you're writing, and you just. I'm not saying that's what happened to them, but it's possible. Yeah, you you can, you Tank, heard something yeah. Tank said the same yeah, thing. Absolutely. He went into the studio. He thought he had a great line. <laughs> uh oh, and it was uh -oh. somebody else's line. <laughs> a great hook, mm -hmm. you know. And it was Heartbreak Hotel by the Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even realize it. And he and he went into the studio, and his and his and, and everybody in the studio said, "Man, you that's just Heartbreak Hotel. Hotel. What? <laughs> that's Heartbreak Hotel. Give him publishing. <laughs> yeah. Give it up now. And so, he, and, and so he called. He called the Jacksons, mm -hmm. and he settled with them, and then he came out with the song. Beautiful, yeah. And then you have that support, so it's great. Yeah. And you know, it's it's unfortunate that that whole ordeal happened, but uh, I think Robin Thicke was saying that he was influenced by it, and in the court case, they. I was reading that he was saying he was intoxicated. When yeah. He, so I mean, all of that kind of stuff, I'm sure, played into the the judgment. And it ain't over. It's not. No. Oh man, what's up next? Uh, some more songs on his. He, some oh, more songs. Did a, you know he did a lot of Marvin Gaye like songs. After the really? dance, a lot. Oh, he did a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, yeah. gonna be, I'm gonna be praying for the brother. <laughs> that's a big chunk out of the pocketbook. All right.